All right, so for this third video, uh, we're gonna go ahead and create the blade piece. So if I go over here, um, we've done the guard, we've done the handle tip. Uh, next, we're gonna do the blade, which is a pretty simple revolve with just a small hole in the center here. So let's go back over to SolidWorks um, and we're gonna go create a new file, new part here, hit okay. All right, and I'm gonna do this as a revolve. And so if we go back over here and look at the blade PDF, uh, so it's a simple um, kind of flat blade and we can kind of zoom in. If you look at this over here, you can see the end of the blade, it's uh, kind of got a slant. It goes to a point. Uh, obviously that's how the blade works. Uh, and it's five millimeters by 0.5 millimeters for that kind of slope at the end there. So let's go back to SolidWorks. We've got our new part. Uh, this time I'm going to remember to change to millimeters up front. Go ahead and um, go over to sketch. All right, I'm going to go with the front plane. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to create kind of the revolve. I'm going to create a cross section of the blade and revolve that around the center. So I'm going to do an exaggerated version of this. I'm going to do a line, kind of goes up like so and then goes over, and then for the last piece, I'm gonna do a center line. All right, so the overall piece, it's got a diameter of 80 millimeters. So the radius is gonna be 40 millimeters. So let's put that dimension in there first, and then five and 0.5 are the other important dimensions here. Oops, let's go back over here. So smart dimension, this to this, that's gonna be 80 millimeters. All right, and then the overall thickness is gonna be one millimeter. Make this one. Oh, that makes it, let's undo that one because that, that kind of messes things up a little bit. So let's delete this. If we just go ahead, select it, oops. should be able to delete. All right. There we go. If we get selected just right, we can delete it. All right. So this point to here, let's do that first. So that is 0.5. And if we zoom in, we can actually see it is, does have a bit of a slope to it. We can also select the same two points. And if we go horizontally, that has got a length of five millimeters. So that's the slope of the blade there. All right. So to get this to line up, I'm actually gonna make these two points, select them, and I'm gonna make them uh, vertical, which is gonna line them up vertically. So if I do that, I actually don't have to dimension the top part as much. Um, and I do have to add in you know, from here to here, that's also gonna be 0.5. All right, so that looks more like our blade. We can kind of zoom in and see the cross-section of blade there. And over on this other end, I've got my center line. So escape, exit out of the sketch. And I'm gonna go ahead, go over to features, and I want to revolve. So go ahead, hit okay. It's because we didn't close this. We just use a center line. All right. That looks like a blade. By default, we'll do 360 degrees. That's gonna give us the full rotation. Go ahead, hit okay. And all right, that's all set. So the last thing we need to do is we are going to need to go back and create this five millimeter hole in the center. All right, so I'm gonna do another sketch. Hit sketch, select the top surface here. And then we're gonna look straight down on that. And all we need to do is a uh, a circle. So select the origin with that circle, go out like so. We add a dimension. 
So it's going to be a diameter of five millimeters, which is pretty small, but that's the size we need for the rivet. So I'll go ahead and hit exit sketch. All right, make sure that sketch is selected. Go back over to features, and we're going to do an extruded cut. All right, rotate up. Oh, it's gone all the way through. Hit OK, and we're all set. We have our five millimeter hole in the center. Uh, so diameter of five millimeters uh, for the hole, diameter of 80 millimeters for the whole thing. Uh, we've got these angles in there. And last thing we need to do is just go ahead and save our part. So I'm gonna save this as blade. And we're all set. I'll see you in the next video.